Looking towards 2010, everybody knows that the presidential election is coming up in about 10 days, right? A um, whole lot going on in this country. Uh, our economy is in a tailspin. Uh, people are losing their jobs, uh, prices of food, medicine, continue to go up. Health care costs is going to drive this whole country into bankruptcy. If we don't get a handle on the insurance and the delivery of health care in America, the cost is enormous and it's only going up. Uh, prescription drugs, anybody who uses them on a regular basis know that there's still a lot of people in this country who have to choose between taking a half a pill just so they can get their prescription will last for a whole month, or two months. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dire situation. Um, so we do need change at the federal level. But that change in Illinois is going to be precipitated by, uh, in 2010, by the fact that we'll have to uh, elect a new U.S. Senator. Uh, if Barack Obama is successful in his bid for the presidency, um, and it's going to be an enormous year politically in Illinois, uh, starting with the U.S. Senate. The governor gets to choose who will take his place. And that will take place sometime in February or March of 2009. So it's only a few months away. And whoever that person is, they'll immediately have to start running for office because they'll be on the ballot in February of 2010. But also, our governor has done such a terrible job. Uh, his poll numbers right now, his favorable ratings are about 13%. They're lower than George Bush's are in this country. Wow. That says a lot. In fact, I did a last TV show on CLTV on Thursday talking about his poll numbers. Uh, I will not be supporting the governor in 2010. He intends to run because um, I just think that he's been such a poor leader. Uh, and he has a lot of ethical questions he has to answer to. And he'll probably end up asking, answering them to a federal prosecutor at some point. Um, but those are problems aside, dealing with the government part of it. Um, there's going to be several people looking to run for governor, which means people will be looking to run for attorney general and comptroller, because some of these people, Dan Hines, Lisa Madigan, Alexi Janulius, um, they're all looking and making phone calls, looking for commitments. Uh, uh, yourself. For governor? Yeah. <laughs> not close. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So we will see, you know, what happens and what shakes out politically. Um, so um, that being the case, uh, 2009 is when you're going to hear about all of this. You know, and 2009 is going to be a very intense political year in Illinois. And um, hopefully change in the White House uh, will facilitate our markets beginning to stabilize. Um, getting people back to work is going to be important because the U.S. thrives when people are working because mm -hmm. everyone around the world pays attention to one number in the U.S., consumerism. You know, we buy a lot, we spend a lot, which facilitates growth and prosperity around the world, particularly in, this, in an era in which nothing is even built in this country anymore. You know, a lot of the goods and, and those purchases are facilitated by the purchase of one thing, a home. People spend more when they buy homes. They fill it up with furniture. And it's a proven fact people buy more clothes for their kids, when they have bedrooms for their kids, and all these other things. So um, stabilizing our economy is going to be important. I'll be looking, like you will be, for the next generation of political leaders in the state of Illinois who can deliver on that issue, who can deliver on that promise, who can put forth sound plans that will deal with our worsening economy. Um, but again, as I close, I simply want to say that um, what you're going to see in Springfield, for those folks who are members of this organization, or Southeast Environmental Task Force, uh, we are becoming a greener society. Uh, cars, buildings, homes, home building materials, all of these things are becoming more environmentally friendly. So the environment and the issue of the environment uh, is going to become so much greater. We're already beginning to see. If you go on our website, um, the Illinois General Assembly website, is, you can simply type in www.ioga.gov and type in the search engine environment, and you'll see thousands of bills that are now being filed dealing with environmental issues. Um, so this will be an excellent time, Mike and others, to start paying attention, monitoring those bills. Uh, quite frankly, uh, I have a 100% environmental uh, rating from the Sierra Club of Illinois. And it's in no small part due to the people at the Southeast Environmental Task Force, people like you, who made me aware of environmental issues that are important to you. Um, Southeast side, in particular, has a lot of environmental challenges 
as a result of the years, the decades of steel production, other production, a lot of uh, pollutants in the air. Um, the, uh, so paying attention to those issues, you know, continue to be important. But um, as it relates to an environment here on the southeast side, like I was saying, is uh, uh, it it have made me an environmentalist in Springfield, paying attention to these issues and what have you. Uh, and, you know, they have a lot of plans for the old USX site and what have you. Uh, and, and, uh, and moving forward, though, dealing with these environmentals, uh, these environmental issues uh, are going to continue to be important and uh, even raise more awareness. Um, so you'll see a lot more people paying to the issues that uh, you folks have been paying attention to for many, many years. Uh, particularly as other nations begin to industrialize as well. All of that impacts on our environment. So uh, being vigilant, paying attention to these issues, calling your state legislators, whether you live in Indiana or Illinois, uh, these are the types of things we want you to be aware of and working on in Springfield uh, will help us continue to protect the environment on the southeast side where there's just so many special environmental problems. Um, it's been a, a thrill for me to be here. I'm happy to answer any more questions. Um, uh, I don't care who you're voting for, but everybody should vote uh, because we need change in this country. And, uh, and um, anything to get us to November 4th and a new president in the White House uh, will hopefully, as it has in the past when we've had uh, severe economic problems, just help stabilize our markets so that we can, you know, hit the bottom and begin to build again. Um, it's one thing that everybody understands is that the U.S. economy is one of the most resilient in the world, uh, and it'll grow again. Um, and we'll have to go through probably a few more. I don't know how much more uh, bad time before to get to better times, uh, but in the meantime, I think all of us need to do our part and, and continue to vote and, and pay attention to those issues. So again, it is with a, a, a lot of pride and deep appreciation that I got the invitation for Mike to come over and say hello and to talk a little bit about the state government. Uh, it's my pleasure to continue to serve in the General Assembly, particularly in the 33rd Representative District. Again, thank you. God bless all of you.